Um, one of my favorite writers um, is a philosopher slash theologian by the name of Joseph Pieper, uh, who was a, a German uh, writer right around the time and after World War II. And he has a phenomenal book that I highly recommend called The Art of Leisure, in which this is right after World War II takes place, right? Germany has been devastated, not only because they've lost the war, but because Nazism was such a horrible thing to happen to Germany and to its people that it, it left them after the war with no sense of identity. You know, what, what, what did it mean to be German anymore, right? For, for that time period, they, 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 they gave into Nazism. They, they followed Adolf Hitler you know, at a whim. And now that, that all that was over and they lost the war, they had to figure out who they were as a nation, not just rebuilding their, their cities and towns, but to rebuild themselves as a people. And Joseph Pieper, in this lecture series that he did through the universities of Germany, had a proposal what the German people should be. And he said what the German people should be is we should epitomize what it means to le live the life of leisure. Now that sounds very like lazy or slothful at first glance, but that was not his point. His point was as human beings, yes, we were called to work. Yes, we were called to do good things for our brothers and sisters. Even as Christians, the missionary spirit that we're always called to evangelize uh, is a very, very good thing. But we were created for leisure as well. And in fact, he would say, that in leisure, in, in putting the work aside for a little bit and allowing ourselves to rest, we are following what God did in the creation account, that on the seventh day, he took time to just simply rest, to take leisure in things, to enjoy the simple things of life. Now, what is the greatest form of leisure then? What is the greatest waste of time there is, which is what leisure should be? It shouldn't be towards anything, right? It shouldn't be a means to an end. Leisure should be an end in and of itself. So what's the greatest form of leisure? Prayer. Worship of God. Because those things don't lead to anything else, right? They're not a means to an end. It's not like those things are going to get us someplace. They are the end. They are leisure. And so when we see Christ today eating breakfast with his disciples, right? Inviting them to just take some time to simply sit with him and enjoy a breakfast together, he's teaching them to take advantage of leisure, to rest, and to pray, to worship our God. Because when you think about heaven, it's leisure for all eternity, worshiping and praising God. So let's start practicing now. Amen.